The previous article is the fact that Phelan Chen's wife chanted Buddha and received inspiration. Now I'll talk about another story, which is the inspiration of Phelan's nephew. Phelan's nephew also did not believe in Buddhism at first and strongly opposed his uncle's devotion to Buddhism. When they met, Layman Phelan was so compassionate that he always advised him to recite the Buddha's name, saying that in this world, there is more suffering than happiness. Further, there are many disasters, many adversities, and many troubles. To be free from suffering and be delighted, one must recite Amitabha Buddha. In times of crisis and fear, one should recite Amitabha Buddha more desperately. However, her nephew only turned a deaf ear and refused to pay attention to this stuff. More than 10 years ago, in 1950s, Phelan Chen's nephew, hereinafter referred to as Chen, because I didn't ask his name back then, had to move to Yuelian to do business. Phelan invited the picture of three saints of the West and brought it to the Tating station in person with a frame to see him off. When he said farewell, he advised his nephew, again and again, to chant Amitabha Buddha with all his heart and soul. After moving to Huelian, Chen ran a good business. One day he went to the village to do business. When riding his bicycle back home at midnight, he passed a ditch by the road and unknowingly fell down the ditch with his bicycle. This ditch is a little deeper than a person's height and it is not difficult to climb up by himself. At this time, Chen padded away the dust on his body and checked his body and limbs. He was well unharmed and immediately wanted to pull up the bicycle. When he was pulling it up, strangely enough, it seemed like someone was trying to drag it down from behind. He pulled it up, someone dragged it down again, and that repeated three times. Chen was so frightened that his hair stood on end, and he was scared out of his mind. When he was in a dilemma, he thought of his uncle in Tai Tung, who often taught him to recite Amitabha Buddha in times of disaster and danger, it is even more critical to chant Buddha aloud. At that moment, Chen immediately put his hands together and chanted Nemo Amitabha Buddha loudly. Thus, he kept sincerely chanting for about half an hour, his mind and body had felt at peace, and his fear was already gone. All of a sudden, a tricycle was seen coming on the road. The driver stopped the tricycle in front of Chen and pulled up the bicycle without saying anything. Then he asked Chen to get on the tricycle and put the bicycle on the tricycle. After a while, the driver drove Chen to the door of his house with his bicycle. Chen was grateful for the young and vigorous tricycle driver. After getting off the tricycle, Chen wanted to take more money to him. However, when he turned around, the driver had gone without a trace. It was midnight at that time, and nowhere could find him. The next morning, Chen still remembered the kindness of the tricycle driver and was eager to give him money. Then he asked the tricycle drivers in the Hualin area to look for this person. After he asked around for a whole day, they all said they didn't carry a person and a bike in that place last night. Thereafter, Chen thought that it was the inspiration he desperately recited Amitabha when he was in a dire situation and the Buddha manifested as a tricycle driver to come to his rescue. Then he remembered the picture of Buddha that his uncle had given him at the Tai Tung station and he immediately took it out and looked at it. It turned out that Amitabha Buddha was so majestic with an auspicious look as well as the tricycle driver. Immediately, he hung it up and bought incense, flowers, fruits, and candles, and offer and respectfully worship to him. When thinking his uncle's compassionate spirit and deep grace as he, he specially made a trip from Huelian to Tating to tell his uncle, Phelan Chen, about this inspiration. The above is what Layman Chen told me personally.